Hey, what's up guys? Um, it's me a real quick message, but it's fresh on my mind. I thought I'd share because I don't think a lot of people understand this, especially if you've never worked with a trainer before. Um, so I just had to do a really quick workout and I'm headed to Moab. I'm so excited. Um, so I did a little run and then I was like, crap, I have like 20 minutes. What am I going to do? And usually when I'm in that boat, I go for big compound lifts. So what I mean by that are squats and deadlifts basically, right? I'm gonna try to get the most bang for my buck in 20 minutes and I go for a neurological stimulus. So this is what I mean. This is strength, okay? So there's a difference between being strong and looking strong. <laughs> strength or the neurological stimulus is being strong and hypertrophy is looking strong, okay? I mean, they cross over, of course, but that's kind of the difference is hypertrophy means muscle growth, muscle size. So you'll see some of these guys who are bodybuilders that are like jacked out of their minds, but <laughs> they can barely do a pull up or they can barely go across monkey bars. You know, you try to get them doing uh, like body weight calisthenic stuff and they suck at it. They can't do it, you know, because they've been training just for that muscle breakdown, tearing the muscle fibers to regrow them. So the strength stimulus, this would be using your nervous system. And so the way you want to activate that is you're trying to go as heavy and as explosive as possible. So a good visual example of a strength stimulus would be like Olympic lifts, right? Where they're like lifting the bar over their head and doing snatches and stuff like that. That's why like a lot of the times those guys that are like Olympic lifters that are, you know, the highest level in the world, they don't look like bodybuilders, right? Because they train their nervous system and not just hypertrophy all the time. So, um, when I don't have a lot of time, um, I go for that strength stimulus. I'm like, let me get the nervous system involved. And so what I just did was, um, three sets of eight really strength. You're going to go anywhere from like two, one to maybe max eight reps. Okay. It would be like the maximum more like six and you're trying to go heavy and you're trying to like make it go as explosive and powerful as possible. So um, the way you'll know in your body if you what stimulus you did is like a strength stimulus. You may not have that muscular pump, but you're gonna feel like your body is gonna. You're gonna, like it feels like this. Oh, like it just feels like deep inside the core of your body. You're like, holy, yeah. You know, it's not like oh my gosh, my my arms are gonna explode out of my skin or my legs are. It's not that feeling. That's hypertrophy. That's that muscle pump. So it's really important to have both of these, in my opinion, but especially to make sure that you're sometimes training your nervous system, sometimes training for strength. Um, it's like scarier in a certain way because it's like, it's heavy, it's intense. It's like, you gotta be like, come on, you gotta like ramp yourself up for it, you know? But if you don't have that neurological connection, you won't be able to get as strong. You, you won't be able to have as much muscle size. Because once that's in place, once you have a good neurological connection to your muscles, now when you're trying to go do all the hypertrophy stuff, you can go harder, you can go heavier, right? So um, anyway, just thought I'd share that. Like, you know, it's good to go through training phases. And sometimes, you know, give yourself four to eight weeks of focusing on your nervous system. So like, for example, my squats, yes, I do barbell back squats. I know not all coaches are fans of those. I feel very confident in my form on those. I don't put those in my clients training plans um because I can't be there physically to watch them so it's just way too freaking risky but if you're like an advanced lifter or coach or you know and you know you got it like the way I do that is like I go into that bottom position and when I'm coming out I'm going as explosive as I possibly can it doesn't really look like that from an outside perspective until I get to the top and the resistance is lighter but in my in my intention properly so you do it until you're like 60 70 years old and not get hurt not like slipping discs out of your spine but anyway like since I feel competent in it I'm I'm lifting as explosively as I can from the floor and then I'm just dropping it because that eccentric or lowering portion that's we slow those down
for hypertrophy and muscle growth. But when you're working your nervous system, you don't, that's not, it's all about the explosive engagement of the nervous system. So I don't want to base, I basically don't want to waste my energy on this slow lowered thing on my deadlifts. Does that make sense? So, um, so I just like, I pop it up as explosive as I can and drop it. And you feel like a bad A. <laughs> so it's fun. Um, so anyway, just thought I'd share that. If you've never tried, you know, if, you, if you're newer, like just do a goblet squat, but instead of just like going slow all the time, like explode out of that, you know, make sure you're keeping your knees outside of your big toes, your heels are in the floor, your core is pulled in. Okay. Like make sure you stay in good form, but gradually work into getting that freaking heavy as crap and then try to explode. You know, sometimes to, to progress that you can add some kettlebells and like cradle them right here. So you got like, you know, two 60 pound kettlebells pretty freaking hard and like explode out of that. Right. Yeah. Uh, Angel, you love that. That's cause you're a one B girlfriend. This is your jam. The ner so I do Christian Thibodeau's neurotyping system with my clients. If you do that, you can go to his website. It's tibarmy.com. I think it's 15 bucks um, to do it or I'll pay for it if you work with me. But, um, if you're a, a one a or a one B on that, this is your strong suit is your training, your nervous system. So, um, those people will actually, um, build more muscle by using this stimulus, um, and, and, and using their stretch reflex and being explosive like that. And they freaking love it, you know? So that's, I train my clients that are one A's and one B's that way. Um, so anyway, that's all. All right, guys, I gotta jump on a call with my clients. Hope you guys all have an awesome weekend. Okay. Bye.